Assalamualaikum and warm greetings to our lecturer and my fellow friends. Our group consists of four persons which are Ahmad Aikar, Alimi Hakim, Muhammad Shaki and myself, Amir Zakwan. This assignment is about projectile motion, which is a ping-pong ball launcher that has been given by our lecturer. And I will talk about the introduction of this assignment. Introduction. When a particle is thrown obliquely near the Earth's surface, it moves along a curved path under the consistent acceleration that is directed towards the center of the Earth. The path of such a particle is called a projectile and the motion is called projectile motion. In a projectile motion, along the x-axis, it moves in a uniform velocity responsible for the horizontal motion of the particle which is moving forward, while along the y-axis, it moves in a uniform acceleration responsible for the vertical motion of the particle which is moving downwards. This project report describes our knowledge of ping pong ball flight as well as the mathematics and the experiment we utilize to calculate the drag coefficient, the process employed in developing this launcher, as well as the approach used to manufacture the actual launcher will be discussed in the assignment. Our ultimate goal is to hit a predetermined target utilizing calculation derived from the theories covered in class. Assalamualaikum, my name is Almi Akin. Before I explain about pimple launcher, let me show you an apparatus and materials that we use. Before that, we are sorry because our product is not very good. It is because we are in, in pandemic COVID-19. Uh, we need to quarantine in Uten and cannot go out. So that we just use things that already have. Okay, so here are the materials that we use. Tissue roller, tape, Rubber, ping pong ball, ice cream stick, Mr. Potato, in the shape. Now, uh, our paper launcher is done. Uh, we cut tissue box so that we can put Mr. Potato uh, and adjust to 60 degree. Uh, next, ice cream stick. Uh, we glue to the tissue box uh, so that our base getting stronger. Uh, and then we just step around to make it strong and neat then for the trigger we use rubber and last but not least uh, we put tissue roller in the Mr. Potato to get launched more accurately Hi, I'm Ahmad Haikal Ibn Muhammad Anase and I'm going to present calculation for my group assignment so this is the drawing that we do in our project and this is the information that we collect. By using this information, we construct two projectile motion equations which is projectile motion in horizontal and projectile motion in vertical. Like this. Then, we use simultaneous equation and we manage to find the time of flight which is t equal to 0 0.54 seconds. After that, we use the time of flight value to find initial velocity which is u equal to 5.56 meter per second we use two energy formula to find out how much we need to pull the rubber band and we get x equal to 4.3 centimeter uh, so theoretically we need to pull 4.3 centimeter of our rubber band from its actual position to create the actual 5.56 meter per second of initial velocity so the ping pong ball will strike the target Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I want to present the conclusions In this experiment we are able to play a ping pong ball launcher to launch from point A to the whole point B, which the distance is 1.5 meter. We have created a launcher based on mechanical mechanism by using the rubber band. We are also using a rubber band to relate elastic potential and the kinetic energy of the ping pong ball. Other than that, we use we use 16 degree of the angle and the result of velocity is 5.56 meter per second. Lastly, we are able to apply dynamic and mechanic 
subject in this experiment by using the projectile motion and the conventional of energy theory. In a nutshell, we uh, conclude that this experiment are successfully. However, there are also uh, also multi time that we fail. This is due to some error we encountered, such as air resistance and systematic error. Is we error is we might pull the rubber band more or less, which result different initial velocity value. That's all from us. Thank you.